One of the biggest angles going in 95 was around the song With My Baby Tonight, which you performed at the second In Your House pay-per-view in July of 95. Now, I remember when I was a kid, I got excited over watching you sing that on TV after you teased it for about a year and a half. Of course, it was later revealed that it was the roadie who sang it, Road Dog Jesse James, and you were lip singing all along. But uh, isn't it interesting? Did you ever think that that song with my baby tonight, all these years later, that it would become prevalent again through the likes of you know Bruce Pritchard and so on? It not in your, my wildest dreams or anyone else's. If you could have said in '94 when we did the video and and just how that story completely took a new life of its own uh, here in the last couple of years, and you know David Zahadi directed that, and David and me worked at TNA all those years. Uh, you know, me and Bruce obviously worked back then. Uh, you know, when you look back on it, Bruce is the ones who uh, produced the original Double J vignettes. Uh, we obviously uh, worked together uh, at Impact and then, you know, with his podcast. And then, you know, another thing is this year we did um, uh, StarCast. And, and who would have thought me and Bruce did that song together on stage at StarCast. So, you know, I mean, Road Dog did it at Hall of Fame. So the song... Um, I will say this, and I think many people who were in the locker rooms at the time, and fans as well, but certainly in the locker rooms, everybody sort of knew it was a catchy tune and the story was good, and Brian is an incredible talent. Um, the, the the pairing of us, uh, you know, like you said, I had uh, uh, teased from the very first time coming in uh, to the WWF at the time. Uh, that was, you know, my, my, my part of my character. And, you know, I teased it and teased it and teased it. And then that was before the roadie came along. And then the roadie came along. And, you know, nobody really had, from a fan's perspective, didn't have a clue it was going to be him and how it rolled out. So it was, uh, I, I thought, very captivating storytelling. And um, and if it wouldn't been captivating storytelling, I don't think me and you, JP, would be talking about it today in 2018 as we roll into the holiday season. Right, absolutely. Gosh, what, we're talking uh, 24 years later, the song's still being talked about, and it, it gets stuck in people's heads, you know, which is which is great. Yeah. After that pay-per-view, when seemingly both you and Brian were on the cusp of great things storyline-wise, you and Brian, the roadie, left WWF. Why did you guys both walk out during that time? Yeah, there, there's a lot of backstory. And to this day, uh, literally to this day, uh, a lot of stuff has, uh, and, and properly so, uh, that we hadn't, we hadn't talked about because there was a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff, a lot of personal stuff. Uh, but, but, you know, it goes without saying there were creative differences amongst all of us. Um, and, and, you know, it, it was, uh, again, uh, you know, it, it's funny how things happened in, in 2001. Um, that, that, you know, both incidences, uh, I, I dropped the IC title and, you know, we, we went our separate ways. And, uh, so it was, you know, it was a business decision. Brian, uh, made his decision. I made my decision and, and, and that's how it went down. I, I will say it, it really left a cliffhanger, so to speak, as a part of that story. Oh, yeah. 